Hello and welcome in. Uh, this is Ron back from uh, Ron Brown's uh, YouTube uh, drone channel here. And uh, uh, we got some quick updates about the uh, the DJI Mavic 3. You know, it got the big firmware update just a couple days ago. Uh, late Sunday night, the 23rd, the app and the firmware update dropped. And, um, you know, I've done, uh, you know, about maybe three test flights so far and uh, like maybe two and a half test flights. And uh, I got a video coming out, you know, where I kind of did a screen recording and go through everything I saw on the very first test flight. But I just want to give some quick hitters here um, so that, uh, you know, just get the people up to date a little bit. You know, it takes forever to get some of these videos out. Um, I know some of the big the big key issues that we talked about in, on the live Drone Nation show on Monday nights, 9 p.m., a couple weeks ago or two weeks ago, not even a whole two weeks ago, week, week, week and a half ago with... Um, you know, Marcus Crawford and uh, DeMarco Moore. And that night we had our guest, Billy Kyle, and uh, original Dobo, Ken, Ken Dono, on the show. And, um, and we talked about, uh, you know, Ken talked about some of his big issues with the drone. That the, the slow satellite acquisition, uh, the crooked horizon, and the, um, you know, the signal loss that uh, he, along with many other people, were experiencing. I was experiencing two out of three of those issues. Well, the good news is... Um, my crooked horizon was gone. As hard as I tried to, you know, yaw the drone around and, and, and do quick movements and whatever, I could not get the uh, horizon crooked. It stayed straight the, uh, you know, uh, basically all three flights that I've done with it. So uh, for me, that's fixed so far. I mean, based on three flights, it's a small sample size, but, but so far so good. And I never did have any... Uh, connection issues with the older firmware and I still don't have any connection issues. I can fly it anywhere I want, you know, high, low, um, you know, uh, near objects or whatever. It, 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 it doesn't lose connection. I'm not a range tester. I haven't flown, you know, five miles out or anything like that beyond, uh, you know, uh, beyond line of sight or whatever. I don't, I don't do those type of things, but you know, um, within a reasonable line of sight, I have no connection issues whatsoever. And, um, okay. Then the, the big one here is the, um, you know, the, the slow acquisition of salads. Um, I, I've seen it take, you know, two to three minutes to acquire 12 salads and establish a home point before I have taken off before. And that's over a course of, you know, uh, you know, uh, over a dozen flights. I have no idea how many flights I've, I've had since I got the drone in, in early to mid November. But, um, anyways, it was consistently slow. Uh, at least two up to three minutes. So uh, I, I get the firmware update done. I go out Monday. This is the day afterwards. This is the 24th. I go to, you know, get ready to take off. And as usual, the first thing I, I get out the drone out of the case, I start the drone before I do anything else where I get the controller out, uh, landing pad, anything, because I'm trying to give the uh, Mavic 3 extra time. And uh, so I, I, I got the stopwatch going again. It was worse than ever. It took like... Uh, you know, almost five minutes to uh, uh, get 12 satellites to take off. And I took off at a, lo uh, a known good location. This location, I could take any other DJI drone out there, the Mini 2, the Air 2S, um, the, Mavic, uh, the Mavic 2 Pro, all of them in the same exact location, get satellites before I'm even got everything else set up to take off, have the 12 satellites that are ready to go. So it's not the location. It's the drone uh, in this case. So um, anyhow, so I was kind of discouraged by that, but everything else I wasn't encouraged about. It, it flew great otherwise. So um, in my most recent test flight, which, okay, my recent two test flights, second test flight, I went out to a different location, kind of a similar location, but maybe um, a half a mile north of my previous location along the beach. And this time, uh, I, I was expecting that long, you know, again, almost five minutes, or actually it was five minutes plus uh, at acquiring salads. So I was expecting another long delay in salads. And lo and behold, before I was even ready to take off, I looked down. In less than two minutes, I had my 12 salads. And I, you know, I, I heard the home point update, and I was like stunned that in less than two minutes, uh, it, it had 12 salads, and my home point was ready to go. So, um, uh, you know, this will, will bear further testing. Maybe that was just a outlier. Maybe the next time I'll go back to five minutes, I don't know. Or maybe, you know, uh, it needed that first flight at the firmware update to fix itself. I mean, I'd have no idea from a software or technology standpoint why I shaved three minutes off the, um, 
you know, the, the, the acquisition of 12 salads in a similar location, only a, only a half mile away from the other one. And in the past, location has met very little uh, as far as satellite acquisition. You know, uh, before this firmware update, various locations, whether they were near the water, where they weren't near the water, it didn't matter. It always took, you know, um, two to three minutes. And now all of a sudden I've got a sub two minute uh, uh, acquisition of satellites after my longest one ever. So a anyhow, I've got kind of got some mixed results in testing there. So I will continue to time and test the satellite acquisition before every flight until I can you know, get some sort of a uh, at least a pattern going where it's a certain amount of minutes or whatever and you know based on you know location how wide the area is but uh, anyhow i just wanted to get those quick notes out on some of the say the bug fixes and we will do a full uh, video where we go through all the feature sets that have been added with this latest firmware update okay so i don't want to you know being a super long one here but i did want to get that uh information out about uh you know some of the the bugs and maybe some maybe some good news on the satellites too and i know the satellite thing isn't universal uh i know the east coast of the u.s has a real problem with slow satellites where my friend marcus crawford who's um say west coast he's not really on the coast he's in idaho he's a state in from the coast but he doesn't see the slow uh, satellite thing so um you know, it, this isn't universal, but it is a, a big deal, for, especially for a lot of people who live on the East Coast of the U.S. So, um, okay, again, I'm going to wrap it up here and uh, be on the lookout for the video where I uh, do my first test flight with the new uh, firmware update. So, um, if you got anything out of this video, hit the thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber, and uh, hit the uh, bell notification so you get uh, notified when I post new videos on, on the Mavic 3, among other things. And also, don't forget to check out the Live Drone Nation show every Monday night at uh, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We also have a Facebook group called Drone Nation where we provide a lot of information there. It's a good group of people in there, good moderators. Uh, you know, you, you'll enjoy being a member of it. And, uh, and, and for the, as far as the Drone Nation YouTube group, we just hit over 800 subscribers. We need to, we're trying to get to 1,000, having 1,000 subscriber drive. So please stop by there, you know, check out the, the live show. And, uh, you know, please subscribe if you like what you see there too. So we will see you on the next one, folks.